Got a stereo rig going. Marshall JVM 410H through a Marshall 4x12 greenback cabinet and the PV6505 Plus going through the Mesa 4x12 cabinet with vintage 30s. At the same time, with the Mimic doubler pedal by TC Electronic. Where's this been all my life? I'll explain the setup in a moment. But it's all controlled with the one looper switcher pedal. <laughs> Get to some high gain. huge and I haven't even got these separated that much at the moment I'm planning on keeping that rig there and putting this rig on the other side of the room so you know it'll be like a whoo, big spreaded spreaded spread stereo effect but still even fairly close together like about six foot apart it's it's huge man <laughs> One way I like to use this pedal, both amps about the same volume on the amps and the wet and dry, so they're 50 50, one pan left, one pan right. Obviously, that's what these are for. Tightness, sort of, um, with this pedal, bloody it changes the signal just enough for it to sound different and then, therefore, more stereo and more spread out. If they both sounded exactly the same, it wouldn't have that like sort of wide stereo feel. So there's something built into this pedal, some sort of algorithm where it sort of separates it enough and changes it enough just to make it not sound like a mono stereo. I mean, double mono. It makes them sound different enough just to be like Whoa. And the fact that I'm using two different amps at the same time as well also makes it huge. I mean, I tried it with the uh, effects loop send into the pedal and return into the return and then use the send signal to go into the effects loop of the second amp into the effects, effects return. When you do that, turn everything down because it goes Bloo! It'll fucking deafen you. You then have to control the volume off that speaker cabinet from that amp and the pedal. But it didn't sound that great to me. It just sounded like the Marshall JVM into two separate cabinets. I mean, it sounded the same pretty much, even though it's different speakers, but it pretty much sounded the same. It didn't really expand much. You know, I didn't really like using the Marshall JVM as like the preamp going into the power amp. 
It, it just sounded like one Marshall JVM into two speaker cabinets. It, it didn't really sound that great. But the basic gist of it is that the Marshall JVM is blaring on one side, and I split that signal to go into the front of the PV6505 Plus. So that'd be, that's the dry amp, and that's the, uh, the wet amp. So if I'm playing like a solo with some delay and reverb and whatnot, it's coming out of that side, the effects, this side is just dry. I think it sounds better that way. Next day, I'll try to explain the signal chain on my rig, but I'm using the Joyo PXL Live looper switcher, so it's a little bit more complicated. But uh, so I've got the PV6505 on my left from this perspective with the V30 Massa cabinet, and on my right, the Marshall JVM14H with the Marshall Greenback cabinet. So, yeah, it's, it's guitar basically plugged into my pedal board. So, for, in this case, it's going into the wah. Then it's going into the tuner, drop pedal, and then that goes into the in of my looper switcher. Then I've got you know, a loop for activating and turning off the overdrive. Then it's going into the noise gate that's in front of the amp. So here is where it gets a little bit more tricky, I suppose. Ugh, I sound drunk, but I just leant over and suffocating myself. So loop one out is the signal for the front of the amp. So I've got loop one out going into the mono input of the Mimic doubler. And then the mono out is going into the front of my first amp. Then I've got an effects loop send. That's going to loop two in. And then loop two out is going to the effects return. So on this rig, you know, all I want to do is just be able to use the wire whenever I want, tuner, overdrive, noise gate in front, and then then that signal is being sent off 
into basically the front of this amp, but I need a noise gate in front and behind on this amp as well, otherwise it's really noisy. So I was going into the front of my pedal board there. It's already using the overdrive from my other pedal board, so I, I have that off when I've got this turned on. So all I'm using is noise gate in front and a noise gate in the loop, nothing else. I turn them off when I'm using a stereo rig. And it's just going into the front of the amp. I have got an effects loop send and return with this, you know, plugged in just so I can use modulations and all that sort of stuff when I'm using this as a mono rig. But when I'm using it in stereo, all I'm using is the noise gate in the front and the noise gate in the loop. You don't even have to do this, man. You just, just, just plug it into the front of the amp and it's fine to use as a dry amp, you know. But it is rather noisy, so all I'm doing here is just using a noise gate in front and noise gate in the loop. So that's basically it, man. So, you know, I can use modulation pedals in the effects loop on this one rig. But obviously that doesn't send to the second rig. It's only the signal from the front of this amp that goes to the second rig. As I said, it's just the um, overdrive. Oh yeah, and the coolest part is not only am I switching channels on this one amp with MIDI, so I can stomp on a you know, clean crunch, high gain, and a solo boost, but I've also got two triggers set up. That is going around my back wall there with an extension, and it's plugged into the back of the PV. It's like a MIDI uh, pin cable at the end. That allows me to control the channels at the same time that I'm controlling the channels on that rig. So I stomp on clean, they both go clean. I stomp on crunch, they both go crunch. Stomp on, you know, high gain, they both change at the same time. The extension is just a female quarter inch jack, five meter extension cable. I've got another video, I'll link in the description of the cable that I'm using for the 6505 to change channels. And I'll leave a link of uh, you know, the extension that I'm using to plug that in from this distance. Gotta find some new jam buddies. Got no one to jam with anymore. <laughs> Next one's gonna be a stereo jam. No more second guitarists. Just stereo rig, man. That's the way to go for me. Awesome friggin' pedal, man. Friggin' awesome. Especially with this configuration. Good else.